Hey guys, good morning. Happy, what's today, Monday? <laughs> so I promised that I'd come back on and give you guys some more insight on rebranding. If that's something that you were thinking about doing, maybe you've heard a thing or two in my previous videos about rebranding that made you say, hey, you know, maybe it is time for me to rebrand. I encourage you, especially those of you who've been in your industry for many years and you've been doing the same thing and you're just feeling really frustrated about what's going on in your business. It's no longer in alignment with who you've become. I suggest that you listen to these videos and think about whether or not branding is a part of your business that you want to focus on as you move into new measures of growth. So I wrote down a couple of things for us this morning, but one thing I want to share, let me do a quick introduction because I don't want to assume that everybody knows me. I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry. I am a growth strategist, the growth strategist. Also a business coach and mentor to women service-based business owners looking to brand, build, and profit in their business and also in their life. So I focus from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, thinking bigger. This is how our companies grow because, and our businesses grow because we're thinking bigger, we're thinking progressive, we're thinking legacy and long-term. So I teach abundance mindset principles that help you to stay in alignment with the growth that you desire for your life and your business. I teach personal growth. It's so, so important, guys. Listen. Everything about my business that grows, grows because I grow as a person first. My habits, my character, my integrity, my understanding, you know, what I'm actually doing, what I'm capable of, how I'm really showing up, who I am being. So I teach personal growth as well as business building. And I love branding because it's a, a big part of who you are. Now, guys, if you ever really want to rebrand anything, you rebrand who you are and everything that you do outside of that will come into alignment of the person that you are becoming. And this is why I say that branding is so much bigger than just your logos, your websites or your pretty pics. But for this morning, I want to make this point that changing the name of your brand will not solve all of your problems. Because remember, branding is an internal thing. It's something happening within the company that attracts people, keeps people, and helps you to grow and run your business, right? So if you are thinking, well, I'll just change the name of my brand, I do think that makes an impact. Names and words are powerful. The names of your courses and your classes, all of those things make a difference, but it won't make a difference if the things on the inside aren't the things that keep the customers, clients, your staff, your team members, and the, th the foundational things that keep your company growing. So I wanted to make that point before I move forward. Um, let's see. One of the reasons that you may consider rebranding is you're in a growth stage and you need to duplicate the process that you're doing. So I work a lot with women service-based business owners, coaches, consultants, teachers, trainers, uh, beauty industry professionals, those in a service industry, um, personal stylists. I have quite a few people who I work with who um, are personal stylists or seamstress. Um, realtors, service-based industry, and maybe you're in a growth stage in your business and you want your company to go grow so that you are um, not trading as much of your time, your personal time, for dollars as you were before and you want to duplicate the processes of what you do and allow someone else to fulfill those services for your customers. So your rebranding would be where you position yourself as a place of, if you're a service-based industry and you're looking to attract uh, the, the people who would be able to duplicate the processes of the services that you provide, you would want to begin positioning yourself as the educator, you know, the person that can train. This is what I help many of my clients to do. Many of my clients, especially in this stage, are um, duplicating their processes and services and hiring teams and developing staff. And so they go through the brand clarity portion and we begin to position them differently. Now the thing is, some of your rebranding, the actual consumer that's coming to get the service may not notice gravely that you're rebranding, but the people that you're wanting to attract, they will notice it. So this is what I help my clients to do, position themselves um, as a space of authority and people that uh, 
um, a person or business that people of a specific expertise would want to come and learn and grow and also provide services for. So if you're in a growth stage of your business and you're needing to reposition so that you can actually attract people to duplicate some of the services that you're doing, that would be a reason for uh, rebranding. If your process has taken an unexpected turn, so sometimes our business just grows and we begin to attract people we didn't even know, um, we step into a new phase, that would be a reason that you consider rebranding your business because um, your business has just taken this unexpected awesome turn that you see will be sustainable and great for the growth of your business and your company. <clears throat> And the next thing is rebranding can be simply because you understand that less is more. So one of the things I teach my clients is they don't have to have 500 things and they, you know, niching out and deciding what are those specific things that you're going to become an expert on. In my 3D Success Academy, which is opening really, really, really soon, you don't want to miss out on this one. I have taken some of my best strategies and tools and um, elevated them and really placed them in a space that will allow you to position yourself and your brand to really profit in your life and your business. But one of the things I teach is focusing on specific things and mastery, right? So if you're deciding that, you know, I'm doing way too much, rebranding could be something that you want to consider. Guys, I want to invite you to stay connected. 3D Success Academy is opening soon. It is the ultimate place of business discovery and life and self-discovery for women in business. Three